The purpose of this video is to talk about mammals that are not rodents, but are mistaken for them. Roughly 41% of all mammals are rodents, and another 41% could be mistaken for rodents, but are not. That means only about 18% of mammal species do not resemble rodents. Unfortunately, the lack of animal education has caused the general public to not know what a rodent is or isn't. People tend to think that creatures with small size, relatively short limbs, and pointed snouts are all rodents. This primitive mammalian form is quite common among many groups of mammals, not just rodents. Many people are also unaware of the diversity of rodents and other mammals. Scientists classify mammals by their skulls and especially their teeth. A true rodent is a placental mammal with two upper and two lower incisors teeth and lacks canines. Here are 41% of mammals who are not rodents, but many people may mistake them for rodents. The first group of mammals that may be mistaken for rodents are the monotremes. They include the duck-billed platypus and echidna. The latter is more likely to be confused with porcupines, which are rodents. Next are several orders of marsupials in which all members could be mistaken for rodents. We'll start with Didelpomorpha, which includes a familiar North American possum. Opossums are not rodents, but they are mistaken for large rats. The order Pauciturberculata includes the Andean shrew opossum, one of only six members of their order, resembling them, but not a rodent. The order Microbiotheria includes a single species in South America, the Monito del Monte. It looks like a cute little dormouse, but it is not a rodent. The order Notorictomorphia includes two species of marsupial moles found in Australia. The order Dasiuromorphia includes 72 species of carnivorous marsupials, including the Tasmanian devil. Not rodents either. The final marsupial order in which all members could be mistaken for rodents is Paramelomorphia, which includes the bilbies and bandicoots. Now we'll go on to placental mammals. Hyracoidea is the hyrax order, consisting of 11 species. Hyraxes resemble groundhogs somewhat, but are closer related to elephants. Aphrosauroceta is the order containing tenrex, golden moles, and otter shrews. Tenrex are spiny, but are not related to echidnas, hedgehogs, or porcupines. Golden moles and otter shrews are neither rodents nor true moles or shrews. Macrosolidia is the elephant shrew order. Not only are they not rodents, they are not really true shrews either. Singulata is the armadillo order. Many people in the Americas are familiar with them and sometimes assume they are rodents, but they're not. Scandentia is the tree shrew order. They are actually closer to primates than they are to true shrews. Dermoptera is the order containing two species of colugo, or flying lemur. Although they somewhat resemble flying squirrels, they are not rodents. Lagomorpha is the order containing rabbits, hares, and pikas. They were once considered rodents, but their tooth structure shows otherwise. Erinaceomorpha is the hedgehog order. Hedgehogs, which are not rodents, are sometimes confused with porcupines, which are. Sorecomorpha is the order containing moles and shrews. These can easily be mistaken for rodents. I've pointed out other groups that are not related to shrews. To clarify, shrews are not rodents either. Chiroptera is the order that includes all of the bats. This order is the second largest order of mammals next to rodents, which bats are not. Folidota includes the seven species of pangolin. Believe it or not, these have been at times mistaken for rodents. Finally, we will go to the four orders of mammals in which some, but not all, of their members are mistaken for rodents. Let's start with the marsupial order Diprotodontia. It's the most diverse marsupial order and includes sugar gliders, koalas, and kangaroos. Sugar gliders and possums in this order can be mistaken for rodents. Pelosa is the order including anteaters and sloths. Anteaters are more likely than sloths to be mistaken for rodents, especially the Tamandua and woolly anteater. Primates is the order we belong in. There are actually primates mistaken for rodents. These include eye-eyes, lorises, tarsiers, and the adorable little mouse lemur. Last but not least are the carnivora. Small carnivores such as those in the weasel family, mongoose family, skunks, raccoons, and others are often mistaken for rodents. Ironically, since these animals often eat rodents, you would have to take the expression, you are what you eat, literally, to believe these are rodents. When ferret owners hear people call ferrets rodents, it is their biggest pet peeve, no pun intended.